I just stand first and give the first words that were heard in this country in recognition of Tangana Whenua and also to say to us as whānau whānui, here we all stand together in the word of peace as a family, as an extended family of humanity. When I was briefly introduced before I was told that we're going to leave to, to ride Japan tomorrow. Actually we're going to leave tomorrow. It will take us 74 days, but Bruce, thank you very much for giving us the opportunity. <laughs> Dave Chambers is also going to come along with us. And about four weeks ago, one of my students rang to say a student of his who was meant to come out from Japan to study and work here now would like to take part in the cycle from Cape Sawyer to Cape Sawyer in the far south. So we're going to cycle two and a half lengths of Japan as uh, Roy and his partner did in 1974 to help bring this peace bell here. But the significance of this, and I want to be very brief, is that even though that happened in 2004, and we're doing something here today, to hear that we were searching back, and I've heard tonight, 38 years, and Rob and Kate have kept that alive in their part, and I know um, all of people here have a story, but my very, very brief story is this. I'm the son of somebody who was in the Pacific fighting Japanese. And about 20 years ago when I was at the airport, my father was saying goodbye to me and he began to cry. And I said, Dad, it's all right, I'm only going away, I'll be back. And he said, son, drop your ego, it's not about you, but I can see an old gentleman from Japan there and I wish I could welcome him and let him know that I'm sorry that we ever fought. And just before my father passed away, one of my students' grandfather came to visit. And we were able to arrange for those two men to have a chance to be together and plant a tūtara for 1,400 years of peace. But the significance of it was obvious to those two. But the silent significance, which was really moving to me, was to my mum. My mum had always looked after my students, but it wasn't till then that I found out firsthand that my mother nursed my father when he came home. And I just want to give recognition to all the mothers and the grandmothers and the daughters who get to suffer when boys go off to play in war, and particularly to the children, the young ones here, because they're all colored blind. They don't know about religion, they don't know what color they are, they just want to be loved. And when we learn to nurture them, then peace will start to happen. We're going to see it. And never again, just to finish, Dave reminded me about the First World War, the King of England, in addressing the people, made a 20 years, 20 minute speech from the balcony and finished by saying, war has been declared with Germany. When I stand here humbly in front of you tonight, knowing that it's your strength that will help us cycle through Japan, and Kate, who was able to answer the question, how can a cycle ride through Japan help create peace? It can, as our Mayor and others have said, give this opportunity for people to meet and talk and look for healthy opportunities. But Dave made the comment, and I think it's a comment that's really, really relevant. If somebody can declare peace, humbly tonight, without CNN News or Al Jazeera or anybody else, here we are, as an example, declaring peace. That's who we are. In this tiny, insignificant, but very, very precious moment. And I only stand to talk to all the other speakers. And I thank all of you for giving us this opportunity. When we look at some hill and think we don't want to ride it, each one of your faces will appeal to us to do it. And I look forward to coming back next year and slowly growing old as these youngsters grow up into adults, knowing that we have done our little bit. And New Zealand is remarkably remarkable in that we have a national anthem that begins with, God of nations at thy feet, in the bonds of love we meet. And here we are now doing that dream. Thank you all. Kia ora tātou.